Hello and welcome to this additional additional Warhammer video um, coming out on a Saturday rather than a Warhammer Wednesday just because I like to any new releases that, that, that Games Workshop normally release on a Saturday I like to just bring you them as soon as possible and normally I give you the review day later or or on the Wednesday and this one is a good one I'm still not 100% sure on the model I'm not sure on the handle I'm not sure on the length of the blade it doesn't have a gun I must have liked him so much because I rode all the way into Norwich and back again just to get him this is the Legion Praetor Tribune in Tartarus Terminator armor I do have some Tartarus Terminators and I will be doing a video of them soon so stay tuned for that but in the meantime uh, let's talk about this he cost 25 pounds <laughs> I was a bit taken aback by that I thought it'd be 20 pounds or 22 pounds this model is uh, for today and tomorrow only you can only get it in their Games Workshop stores you can't get it online anywhere it's just in their Games Workshop official stores no third party stores or anything like that or online third party just in their stores I'm not sure why Forge World are doing it but um, maybe they're testing the water for sort of selling Forge World products in store. You can order from Forge World and get your Forge World items sent to your store. A lot of people skip over that because if you buy a, I don't know, 100, 150 pound tank and the delivery will, is going to cost you 20, 25 quid, even if you live an hour away or something like that, it's going to be a lot cheaper for you to go in and pick it up. Yes, it might take you two hours of your life to do that, but if you're going in anyway, that might be might be worth it. And it means that you don't have to spend 250 quid every month or every couple of months and just make a huge collection bulk order. But if they're talking about actually having physical models on the shelves, I'm all for that. Uh, the Games Workshop I use, the Games Workshop in Norwich, big thanks to them. I've been in that shop ever since I was a little kid, since I got into the hobby. And they're moving. They're moving next month, I've heard, in July, in th three weeks' time, I think. If you know Norwich, uh, near the near the Tesco on the corner, opposite the Rohan shop, and near where the old McDonald's was, not, not that far from the church and those posh new high-rise flats. And... They're not going to be called Games Workshop on the store. It's actually going to say Warhammer. Moving back to the model, I just do bang on a bit, don't I? Let's uh, open this. Now, the blade has grown on me. It just reminds me a little bit of uh, sort of blades that Thousand Suns would use. I think this dude would look pretty good in Thousand Suns sort of colours. Now, yeah, like I said, I was a bit taken aback by the cost of him because he's £25 and you can get Tartarus Terminators, like a box of them, for 37 So for 12 quid more, you can have five of them and then you can just mod up one and have him as your Praetor. It is what it is. You've got the instructions and special rules, things like that. What is he? He apparently is a legacy of the last years of the Great Crusade when they're at the apex of their size and power. A command rank above consul or centurion. Command of, of entire chapters. Tribunes stand at the front lines of battle charged with enacting strategic plans of the great captains of the legion. There we go. Weapon skill 6, business skill 5, strength 4, toughness 4, wounds 3, initiative 5, attacks 4, and then 5 with a star, leadership 10, save of 2+. plus. Uh, he's got 9 halo, he's got Tartarus pattern terminator, he's got a mastercrafted paragon blade, he's got legion astartes, master of legion, independent character, exemplary tribune, he may be included as an HQ choice in a space marine legion army, selected from legions astartes, but may not be given any other options or world gear. Yeah, he's alright. It looked nice next to the Centurion and my other Tartarus Pattern Terminators. So he's got this little funky thing that goes on on the base. The sort of torso part of him with the back. Looks quite uh, quite well detailed. It's got the legs. I'm liking the legs. They look pretty pretty decent. There's some mould mold lines there, but they're going to be quite straightforward to get taken care of. I like the armour, how there's grooves in there on either side, very nice. There's a blade itself, double handed paragon blade. Like I say, I like this sort of chiselled style to the blade. And there's his head. 
Mm, it's detailed. I like the scar on his face. You'd actually see the eyeballs in there and his nostrils. There's even little holes for his nostrils, so incredible amount of detail. And then the chest plate and the shoulder pauldrons. I like the the lightning there. I like the sort of lightning slash eagle sort of thing going on too. Yeah, quite a simple, straightforward little model. I do look forward to making him and uh, like comparing him to the Centurion. So I'll go away, I'll make him, and I'll bring him back to you with sort of like a, a little summary. So join me in part two. And welcome to part two. Here is the Horus Heresy Legion Praetor Tribune in Tartarus Terminator armour. Very, very easy, simple model to, to put together. You still have to go through the same sort of process as you would with any Forge World model, which is um, soak him in, in soapy water and rinse and scrub him and things like that just to get the releasing agent off. At first I wasn't that keen on him, the blade and the way he's holding it and things like that, but actually uh, he's, he's grown on me. He really has. I love the detail. I filed, filed all the mould lines off as much as I can. I really like him. He's quite expensive at £25. The Knights Errants and things, they're 45 And that 20 quid really is for your, your big scenic base. Because this model himself is, is bigger than Garo and Rubio and things like that. But um, there you go. I love the, the detail on his face. I know I'm, I'm an idiot. I, I suppose you'd... You'd paint everything on the sprues first, wouldn't you? And then assemble him. But I think I can get my brush in there and still enact some some quality detail. There you go. I love the, the lightning sort of strikes on, on his right shoulder. Yeah. It's really odd that he's sort of like a limited edition, but uh, it doesn't say Games Workshop anywhere in his little booklet. I like him. He's pretty decent. Like I said at the start of the video, I must have liked him so much that I, I went all the way into Norwich to, to pick him up. Anyway, compared to the Centurion, uh, here's the Centurion. Whoa, a painted model. Who knew? Um, <laughs> so yeah, compared to the Centurion that came out that was uh, uh, a Forge World exclusive model that, that they brought out to commemorate Forge World's website, Games Workshop just implementing the layout of their website with Forge World and just updating it. This is the guy that they brought out. I like both the models, but I have to say I, I prefer this one now um, compared to the Centurion. As as cool as the Centurion looks, I do prefer this this Praetor. Anyway, so that's the Centurion and that's the, the Praetor size-wise. I think the Praetor is just, just a little bit taller. And then compared to uh, Tartarus Pattern Terminators. Whoa, he's got Tartarus Pattern Terminators. Yeah, it's true. Um, there will be an extra video about these guys at some point. I think he um, I think he blends in quite well. I've only got one or two sort of crappy poses with these um, Tartarus Pattern Terminators, but he could even be the main um, sergeant or whatnot in a squad. Certainly beats uh, this guy's terrible pose. Yeah, I think he works quite well as sort of like a central anchor or pillar to, to a Tartarus Pattern Terminator squad. And of course, you know, in November time when we get the, the plastic Tartarus patterns, even better. Well, it's just a rumour, but we'll, we'll, we'll see, won't we? That's the end of my unboxing and review. He's 25 quid, but I think he's worth it. He's a decent looking model. It'll be a, a joy to paint, and he fits quite well with other Tartarus pattern uh, Terminators too. So thank you for watching The Emperor Protects.